Secure the building. Safety's on, dipshit. Hey, old man. Was Raul Menendez here today? Sergeant Woods! Raul Menendez is the leader of Cortes Dia. And the most dangerous terrorist since Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Fucking waste of time. Guy's a vegetable. Back off! All he said was, mi hermana. That Spanish for sister dipshit. You boys better get your shit together. He's gonna attack. If you have information about a threat to national security, you gotta tell us. Turn the camera on. Your old man. He's doing okay in Alaska. Fucking Hudson showed up. Dad, I'm scared. I, I need help. You're seven years old, David. Stop acting like a baby. David, wait! Ugh. Go back to the army, like you did when Mom died. Lieutenant Colonel North, NSC. You already know Jason Hudson. What are you doing here? Yesterday, Sergeant Woods led a covert team to take out an arms smuggling ring in Angola. This morning, we lost contact. So go get him, CIA. Why are you here? Castro and the Russians are all over Angola. We can't go in. The CIA have buried the mission. Woods and his squad no longer exist. We got whatever you need, Mason. Name it. David can stay with Jenny, like before. She loves having him. He'll be fine. Dad, you said you'd never go back to the army. You promised me. It's Uncle Woods, son. He'd do it for me. found where I was being held prisoner with a spy satellite. One of them KH-9s was babying. Shits out of film cannons for 12 miles up, and a C-130 comes by, <laughs> snags it at about 30,000 feet. This was not the digital age. This film had to be processed, analyzed, and delivered, all by hand. Our dog in the fight is a guy named Jonas Savimbi. <laughs> you think I'm fucking nuts? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no! I need help over here! Hold on! Mason! Savimbi, you gotta help! Right! Damn it!
Hey, we know! Smimmy's leading a counter charge! He's got balls on the old man! What about Woods? Do we have confirmation on his location? This is moving him from one location to another. We expect Smimmy's men to report back soon. The motors have stopped! There's a couple of MG trucks targeting you! I can't make another pass till you take out those MG trucks! I'm doing them! Victory has begun! 
Reagan! Death to the MPLA!
inside! to the gunboats. Okay, Mason, we're clear. Open up the container. Give me a hand with this, Mason. Man! God. Woods, are you in there, brother? Bodies are badly decomposed. These men have been dead for weeks. We've probably attracted the attention of every MPLA foot soldier in the area. We need to move. Come on, Woods, I've got you. I got you, brother. <laughs> Tenor means they've got a radio. They can coast it in me for emergency extraction. Hold! Take cover behind that log. <sighs> what the hell are Cubans doing here? <laughs> Let's move. Stay low. Keep your head down. Don't move. Let them pass. Oh, 
Okay, on my lead. We run for the wooden hut. Stay close. out of the grass. You'll be okay, Frank. I'm gonna radio for help. I'll take care of Woods. Watch yourself up there. Try not to draw any more attention. Concern yourself with local politics. Prosta Marionietka. Kakti. Dil. Kakskazano. You're a dead man unless you do exactly as I say. Tune the radio to me. We are going to kill you, see? No one move or this fucker gets it! The Americano le está diciendo que no se mueva. Shut up! <laughs> Él piensa que está en control, pero él no es. I said, shut up! Lower your weapon! I swear to God, I'll kill this bastard! Los americanos no saben nada sobre la lealtad. Quizás nosotros deberíamos demostrar. You son of a bitch! Rough of the river! 
Thank you, kid. tries to kill Menendez. Menendez wants payback, even if it takes decades. Menendez, back then, was a, uh, a big fish in a small pond. He made his cake on the drug cartel out of Nicaragua. It was a hand-me-down. Mm -hmm. The CIA smoked his old man. Old Cyclops is pretty pissed at America. While we're fucking around in the Middle East, the Russians and the Chinese are getting real cozy. Huh. Now, the politicians. They want you to think this is about ideology. It's a lot of horse shit. Give me your phone. Go ahead. Rare earth elements. Whole fucking world runs on this shit. <laughs> Who controls all of it? China. Jeez. So while corporate America is kissing China's ass. Now the mysterious Cordis Diaz social network has crowdsourced simultaneous protests in both Iran and North Korea. Never seen in public, who really is the leader of Cordis Dia? He's known only as Odysseus. Odysseus? My ass. <laughs> Raul fucking Menendez. Asshole. I told Jason, but they were too busy. See, the drone race had started. 
I mean, really, guys? You're gonna build an entire military based on a mineral element that's wholly controlled by China? I need a drink. Dipshit. No, oh, God. Give me a soda. Get it from the nurse's stash. None of that diet crap. China's premier Chen is outraged by Cortez Diaz's leaked memo, alleging the cyber attack was covertly ordered by the White House. And through all the dirty shit the U.S. government's gotten away with, this time, they're innocent and no one fucking believes them. They take out Cortez Diaz's network. Two days later, the director of the FBI burned alive. Right now, a billion people believe that Raul Menendez is their savior. Shh. Guess what, boys? He's not. You better take him out pretty fucking quick. That shit's gonna happen. Oh, look at that. Menendez got a whole private fucking army hidden out there. Cubans. Elite rank. State-of-the-art tech. How many followers does Cortes Diaz have right now? What, a billion people? Try two billion. You'll never believe their leader's a terrorist. They think Menendez is their savior. They've got a hell of a disappointment coming. That's all I can say. Time to go see what Menendez has got hidden down there. You ready, Harper? Keep momentum on your swing. I want to be left hand. So far, so good. Ready? Okay, hotshot, your turn. One more time. Let's go. Thanks to you. Wide open. A little more than skeleton crew. Walk in the park. No seas idiota. Do not underestimate Raul Menendez. His followers sure did. And what does Cortes Dia mean exactly? It's black. Hard pit, some shit like that. Sounds like something noble. That's what Menendez wants his followers to believe. Trust me, it isn't. Crosby, you're up. Look 
step in the mountain. Deploying shoot! Deploying shoot! Deploy Salazar, Crosby, you got the left side? Cover, ready on your go.
Go, go! Shit, the fucking turret got the area locked down! EMPs will fry them! Hell yeah! There's gotta be more to this facility underground. Kraken, this is section. Surface installation is neutralized. Moving to investigate secondary structure. Let's blow it. Stand back. Watch your step. Floodwaters may have weakened the structure. Holy shit! Look at this! What we saw up top was just a front. Walls are several meters thick. We lose comms inside. Update Briggs. Tell him we're moving in. Dragon, this is Harper. Confirming SciTech installation beneath the temple. Requesting immediate cleanup and containment unit to our location. Be advised, we will lose comms as soon as we make our entry. Kraken confirms. Ground team moving for immediate insertion. Stand by for ETA. Salazar, get it open. It looks deserted. They may have abandoned it as soon as we attack. Oh! <laughs> 
ASD! Target's a nitrogen tank! Start thinking, Salazar! That shit blows up real good! Okay, we're clear. This is 3D fabrication tech. Weapons, components, armor, Menendez is arming himself for war. Woods told us how much wealth Menendez built over the years. He's been investing it in weapons tech. Somebody's here. Let's see what we got hidden in here. Open it, section. Please, don't hurt me! Okay, come on out. This lab is linked to a known terrorist. You start talking, or I will hurt you. My name is Eric Briner. I'm a magnetometrist. Yeah? And what is, uh, Menendez's interest in you, buddy? They brought me here to process the solarium. It's a new, rare earth element that will render all existing microchip technologies obsolete. They're coming. Get me out of here alive. I'll give you everything. Down!
Now where's the Solaria? This way. The locking mechanism requires two operators. On your go. Let's get to it, Section. Follow me! Quantum entanglement. This single device has more processing power than your entire military infrastructure. Rumors around the lab were that Menendez plans to use it as a basis for a massive cyber attack. I, I heard talk of something called Karma. It may be the, the name for the cyber weapon. If Menendez uses a solarium worm to initiate an attack, there will be nothing anyone can do to stop it. Behind us! We got incoming! Crack it! Harper requests some confirmation on extraction team's ETA! Defensive positions! Crack it! Come in! Damn it! No response! We'll fight our way out, with or without support! This ain't over yet! It's Briggs! Stand out! It's the extraction team! Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. I guess we can call this mission accomplished. Admiral Briggs, good to see you. You too, Sergeant. Whatever Menendez is planning, Solarium is the key to it. Just a man, Admiral. He'd like you to think he's something more. But he ain't nothing but a sad old pitiful excuse of a man. I can't figure out Menendez without getting inside his fucking head. Salazar, you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? Tu primera guerra fría. 
As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. In 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved, his sister Josefina, was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable, so the CIA took out Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. The only one's your father. After Nam. The numbers and all that? I mean, he was one dangerous son of a bitch. <laughs> it's showtime, Mason! What'd you see, Woods? Sand. Sand and more fucking sand. Hudson's contact's on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear them. They've been supporting the Mujahideen, same as us. They know if Russian was in Afghanistan, they'd be looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me. I don't like anyone. You might want to get your head down. Take it easy, Sal. Deliver the weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raul Menendez. We have fresh horses. You will follow. Oh, shit. Let's do it. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jiao? We're on our way to the Mujahideen camp now. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that our presence here must remain 100% deniable. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns of our involvement in Afghanistan. Yo, that ain't gonna happen. Soviets are about to launch an attack on the camp. Major, kick it up yeah. from here! Yeah! This way. If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're going to need all the help you can get. I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Ramon, this is Woods and Mason. My two best men. We need weapons, not soldiers. <sighs> this should be good. Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you have on Menendez. Our base is here. Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an edge. That's a bullshit plan. They're talking about the Russian army here. They come at you with brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. And we do. 
We belong on the front line. The Russian assault has begun. Yalla! Yalla, Borobirun! You have faith in your plans, America. The point. Faith's out. Let's rock it. We must hurry! We cannot allow them to enter the valley! Settle up, Mason! Base. We're in danger of losing the base. 
Enemy tanks are firing on the base. The boost can't hold the base much longer. And tanks are down! The Russians have overrun the Bush ammo cache in the east. Do whatever is necessary to recapture it. Muller Roman is concerned. He thinks we're losing the fight. You tell Ron for me, I'll give a shit about his concerns. We'll kick fucking ass same as always. Just tell him he better come through with his intel on the net desk.
The tanks are down. The Russians have overrun the Bush ammo cache to the east. Do whatever is necessary to recapture it. Muller Roman is concerned. He thinks we're losing the fight. You tell Rana from me I'll give a shit about his concerns. I'll kick fucking ass same as always. Just tell him he better come through with his intel on the net desk. Impassable by horse. Dismount. We will proceed on foot. Infantry fast open in. The ammo cache is ours. You fight bravely, American. Mason, return to base. We have a problem. What kind of problem? You better see for yourself. Mason, return to base. We have a problem. What kind of problem? You better see for yourself.
was one tough son of a bitch. Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko basically carved a hole in his head and he sucked those fucking numbers in there and he survived that. No. <laughs> they just say they didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Mason, better take a look. This isn't over yet. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? <laughs> This isn't over yet. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? <laughs> Times I saw the tick. And I get that look in his eyes. I'm scanning the room. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's talking to the Russian. Fucking Reznov. <laughs> Good old tricky Vic. Woods. Maybe I should handle this interrogation. Maybe you stay the fuck out of my way. I can unfinished business with this bastard. <clears throat> I left you to rot in Vietnam, Sergeant Woods. You should be dead. Nobody told me. Buddy Raman tells me you're doing business with a Nicaraguan named Raul Menendez. What do you do for me? Mujahideen, baby. They'll bury you up to your neck, peel your eyelids back, and leave you to fry in the desert. I'll take you out quick. Tell me about Menendez. I sell him weapons. That doesn't Must sound die. too Soviet of you, brother. The Soviet Union is dying. 
Where are the weapons go? Kuba. Angola. The third world. Why? Menendez wants to see the world burn. But that's not gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> He's more powerful than you know. He even has people in the CIA. Bullshit! <laughs> this guy's fucking with us. The fuck are you doing? Menendez told me you must suffer. You face piece of shit. We have to fight the Russians right on your side. No. No, you are and always will be our true enemy. Without water and shelter, you may last a day. If you are strong! So, we're in a desert buried to here. And who does your father think rides up on a horse to save us? Tricky Vic. Yeah, see? You're just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. That's not. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think we would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit? <laughs> 